smoking new release from Latafa Asad versus Dio Sawaj Elixir. Let's talk about it. Eid Mubarak everyone, my name is Nixon Dice and you are watching Smelly Cat. Now you know what today's video is all about so I'll make it really quick. But before that, if you haven't done it already, give that like button a nice slap on the face. And while you're at it, headbutt that subscribe button. And hey, since you're doing it anyways, roundhouse kick the living daylights out of that uh, bell icon as well. Let's move on to the video. Ah, quick note before I move on, I did pick up a lot of Latafas other than Asad. Uh, so I'll leave the comment section to you. You tell me, you pick what you want me to review first. In the comment section, just tell me the names. I'll show you the ones that I picked up and the ones that get the most comments for. Uh, I'll try reviewing them first. Al Noble Safir, the bottle of this one is inspired by Penhaligans. It's actually quite good. Ejazi Intensive Silver Edition. Satur, where the cap looks like Roja Dove's crystal caps. Kamra, where the bottle looks like a square version of Angel Share by Killian. And Sukrat, which reviewers online will have you believe is a 99% clone of Aqua Di Gio Profumo. Spoiler alert, it's not. All right, the comment section is all yours. So you comment and let me know which one you want to see. First, if it's Sukrat, for example, I'll try comparing it with Aqua Di Gio Profumo and also Ardal Zafran's Jazab Silver. Okay, let's move back to Asad, but first let's have a look at the presentation. Here's the box that it comes in. It's a nice, soft touch matte black you have the name asad in arabic and english and also this logo that if you squint enough looks like a symmetrical lion's face on the side you'll get this very etat libre de orange style logo again that lion face and if you ask me why lion that's because asad means lion in arabic here's how the bottle looks it's nice and heavy and it fits quite well in the hand. Mine actually came without this bit here, but hey, I'm into DIY stuff. By that, I don't mean that it wasn't there in the box. It was, it just had fallen off. On the top, you get the Latafa logo. And again, in the front, Asad written in Arabic and in English, plus that logo that you saw on the box once again here. Now, quick look at how it sprays. A lot of you like this. So this is how it sprays, not bad actually. Now let's get this out of the way. This is not a clone of this. A lot of videos will tell you that they are like 90 to 95% similar, but they aren't. You need to keep in mind that if Latafa wanted to create a Sauvage Elixir clone, they most definitely would be able to nail it and nothing stopping them from doing so. With this one, what I believe they wanted to do is create something that has a similar DNA to Sauvage Elixir and they've been very successful at doing that. Now coming to the official notes, I ignore them. I'd say you can do that as well, even if they come from the official Latafa website. With this one, there's pineapple and coffee and whatnot, but I'll tell you what my nose actually picks. Asad and Latafa actually start out quite differently. When I tried this the first time, I already had Sovaj Elixir, but I did not think of this one as an Elixir clone. Not at all. In fact, when I sprayed it first, I thought of um, another scent, actually a couple of scents. One is Labyrinth of Spices by Algabra and Vidyan's Limited 71. Asad is slightly harsher, strong, uh, peppery, leather-like, um, spicy in the opening. I don't get a lot of grapefruit in the opening of this one and the peppery feeling that I mentioned is most probably a peppery lavender and uh, that's what gives it that strong powdery feel as well. So our elixir on the other hand is a lot smoother from the get-go. Uh, the grapefruit in this is also very noticeable in the start with that lavender but the lavender in this one is something that is I'd say a little more natural and one that you'll be used to uh, from other fragrances. Now you'll have to wait an hour for it to start smelling a little similar to each other. Still not the same, but after an hour is when they start, you know, uh, people would probably start making the connection between the two scents. Again, even though I'm saying this, having them side by side, you will notice the differences, but when you uh, wear them on different days is when it'll remind you of the other. In the dry down, again, they take their own different directions. If you have other Latafa fragrances, 
you will be familiar with that Latafa vibe in the dry down. This one has it as well. It's a slight sweetness from, I'd say, vanilla and amber. And with this one, there's also that cinnamon that adds to the sweetness. This one, which is Sauvage Elixir, actually has a very prominent, after some time at least, licorice note, which I say is missing from Asad. Similarities, yes, of course, there are similarities and that's why people compare them to each other. Both are fresh, spicy, woody aromatics. Both have that old school feel with a tinge of modern blue twist to them. Differences, other than the ones that I've already listed before, of course, is the price. This one is available at the moment for $165 for a 60 ml and I don't think they've hit the discounter stores as yet. The price hasn't gone down yet. Whereas this one, Asad, is around $25 to $30 and that's for a 100 ml. For me here in Dubai, the price difference was much more because I actually got this for just $11. Yeah, perks are staying here in the Middle East. Now for that major price difference, you do get something that's a lot smoother, richer, deeper, denser and more effervescent nonsense that you'll hear. You do, you do get that with this one. And if you are into fragrances, of course, you'll notice the quality difference between them. But if you're not, it shouldn't make much of a difference to you. But I have to say this, that yes, the Latafa does seem a little messier, uh, at least in the first 10 to 15 minutes when you spray it. Now, the major difference for me, other than the price, is the performance. This one starts off really well and the longevity also isn't that bad. It gives me around six to seven hours, uh, but it has moderate sillage. So as Elixir, on the other hand, man, this thing just pops on my screen for some reason. And the longevity on this one also is around 10 to 12 hours on my skin. I'm not talking about my clothes. It also leaves quite a noticeable scent trail behind and the projection is monstrous. If I had to rate it on the scent alone, Sauvage Elixir is a 10 out of 10 for me. And that's why I bought a backup bottle of this as well. Uh, it's, it's not my kind of scent to be honest, but for some reason it just works for me. On the other hand, Latafa Asad gets a respectable 8 out of 10 for me. But hey, for the price that you get this one for, I would say this is a no-brainer. Let me sum it up. If you are looking for a Sauvage Elixir clone, look elsewhere. Because if you buy Asad thinking it's going to be a clone or 100%, 99% uh, clone of Sauvage Elixir, there is a chance that you will be disappointed. But if you're looking for the same style, if you like scents like this one, uh, or the couple of scents that I mentioned earlier, or Roja Apex or Haltan from Parfums de Mali, which is a new release, Oud for Greatness, even Zaharov Signature Porom, then when you buy this, you will be more than happy with it, especially considering the price. And you know what? Let's not drag this video too far. You know, I could get into details of breaking them down and all. Honestly, scents like this at this price, you don't really have to think so much. Uh, like I said, you know, it's a no-brainer the price that it's available at. If you are looking for that similar DNA and not looking for a clone, then definitely Asad, Asad is uh, something that you should look into. Now, I hope I've given you a fair idea of uh, what to expect with this one and how they compare with each other. So, hey, this is the end of the video. And I'll say it again. If you haven't done it yet, like, share, subscribe hit that bell icon and don't forget to comment in the comment section which other Latafa you'd like me to cover next. Until next time, keep smelling amazing.